Hey guys, Matt here from Crunch Time Coaching and Coffee Break Tennis. <clears throat> Three signs of a healthy fed. I'm getting really... <coughs> Sign number one, arching the back on the serve. So I'm going to flash up. So that is Roger at three all. I got that from the highlights, so you can find it on YouTube. Everyone should watch it as some homework tonight if it's Monday night for you guys watching this or if you've seen it tomorrow before the match. Uh, Federer's going to be on probably about 8.30. It's the women's match at 7, and then Roger's straight up with Francis Tiafo Tuesday night, uh, Eastern time. Anyways, uh, look at the picture. Roger's like standing straight up. That's his trophy pose. You know, The trophy pose is this thing, right, where you're about to hit the serve, and they arch their back a lot. Can you see? I'm arching, can you see? And he's about to... Oh, Roger is standing straight up if you look at this picture here. So watch out for that back arch. If you guys see Roger standing up straight like that on his serve, we're gonna be in big trouble. Sign number two of a healthy fed is the backhand slice, and if we see exclusively that. Now, if you watch the highlights for Montreal against Sarev in the final, in the first couple games, Roger is, is moving well, and he, he hits a, a one-hand backhand drive. He hits a drive backhand winner up the line, and it looks like, oh, wow, this is going to be a good match, and Roger's about to crack the code on the serve and break him and you know take this thing. And then all of a sudden, we saw Roger not moving, not arching the back, reason one. And then we also saw him slicing all of the backhands because it's a lot easier. You know, Roger can kind of use that little flick of the wrist and the nice hands to get a good ball just slicing. But if he wants to drive it, he's really got to use the ground for power. He's got to load up and get down. And that's going to have to transfer through your core and your back. Got my watch wet. So Roger is not going to want to get down if his back is bothering him and have to transfer energy from the ground. So watch and see if Roger is hitting a lot of topspin backhand drives. That's a great sign. That means Roger is feeling good about the back. Reason number three is the defense. Watch and see how well Roger is defending. Francis Tiafo has got a lot of firepower. So when Francis is serving, if we see Roger you know, not really going 100% sprinting after these balls running side to side, then you know maybe he's feeling it or maybe he's just being really careful because like I said in the final with Sarev, it looked like Roger was all right early on in the match. He hits that one-handed backhand winner, he's tracking down balls and running a good bit, and then in the second set he's barely moving. He's not even getting down to hit his forehand. I mean, he was almost standing straight up to hit his forehand, which is really weird to see Roger do. That's why he was shanking a ton of balls because he's not getting the racket head speed when he can't use his lower body because his back is not going to let him transfer that power up because it hurts so bad. He's just trying not to move it at all. It must be horrible. So watch for the defense. Let's see if Roger is running side to side and confidently getting the balls. And if he's trying to run a little less and you know not so worried when he's returning TFO's serve, that might be all right too. He's maybe just trying to protect the back a little bit because you never know, he might worry it could happen like that. He made it all the way to the finals in Montreal, looked good in a couple games, and then boom, the back is gone, and he was toast. All right, guys, Matt for Crunch Time Coaching signing out. I was just at the tennis courts earlier today. Uh, click right here if you guys want to try a really cool drill to work on that slice backhand that we hope we don't see Roger hitting too many of tomorrow night. But if you want to learn how to get yours a little bit closer to what Roger's doing with the slice backhand, Click right there and watch my little quick tip lesson for you guys on the backhand slice. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, thumbs up. Mm, that's good. Don't forget to watch Pete's video right over here of uh, how to get more power on the serve like Nick Curios. I'm going to try that again. See you guys.